This video is a shorter version of the first chapter of my Packaging 101, Introduction to Packaging course, at Christian Brothers University. What is packaging? Packaging is a system that prepares goods or products for transport, distribution, storage, retailing and usage. The principal functions of packaging are contain, protect and or preserve, transport, and inform and or sell. Primitive people consumed what they gathered. No need for distribution, no need for packaging. When they gathered more effectively, the excess items needed storage and distribution. Thus, packaging was needed. Packaging protects goods from damages. Packaging assists distribution and trading. Packaging helps customer in identifying products, its quantity, shelf life, etc. In short, package protects what it sells and sells what it protects. This slide shows some milestones of packaging. Types of packaging include consumer packaging, industrial packaging, institutional packaging, and military packaging. Consumer packages for small units in large quantity. They are decorated to attract sales. Industrial packages for heavier items such as machinery and equipment. The emphasis is on safety and transportation. Institutional packages for selected groups of customers, such as hotel, hospital, etc. The emphasis is on protection, cost-effectiveness, stacking efficiency, and waste disposal. Military packages for weapons. Thus the focus is on safety and security and protection. There are different levels of packaging. Primary packaging, secondary packaging, tertiary packaging. Primary packaging is the container that directly holds the product. Secondary packaging holds together several primary packages. Tertiary packaging protects products during distribution and makes handling more efficient. This includes various boxes on a pallet, which is also called unit load. Memphis is a prime location for packaging from the following attributes. The busiest air cargo airport in North America since 1992. On the path of I-40, the third busiest trucking corridor in the U.S. 5 class when railroads passing through BNSF, CSX, Union Pacific, Norfolk Southern, and Canadian National. The fourth largest inland port in the U.S. 10.2% of the workforce is in transportation and utilities, the highest percentage among the top 100 largest metro areas in the U.S. home of major companies, such as FedEx, International Paper, Smith & Nephew, Medtronic, Wright Medical, etc. This and the next few slides show various trends indicating the growth of packaging industry. The overall global packaging industry is worth $424 billion. It is growing at an annual rate of 3.5%. Another source predicts that the global packaging market size will grow by $278.59 billion during 2019 and 2023. World population is also expected to rise. More population means more goods to be packaged and delivered. E-commerce has been growing. There is a need for properly trained packaging professionals who understand and can design appropriate packaging for e-commerce. Salary of packaging professionals is also on the rise. Salary increase indicates more demand than supply. Number of Certified Packaging Professionals or CPP and Certified Packaging Professionals in Training or CPIT has increased 30% from 2016 to 2019. More Packaging Professionals indicates the industry growth. Number of Certified Thermal Transport Labs has increased 200% in the past four years from 4 to 12 worldwide. The insulated packaging market worldwide is projected to grow by $4.9 billion. There is a big opportunity in cold chain packaging. There are four trends that will influence the global packaging industry. Economic and demographic growth, packaging technology, consumer trends, and brand owner trends. The global economy is expected to perform relatively well over the next decade, boosted by growth in emerging economies. Companies will address sustainability issues alongside an increase of flexible packaging which is driven by demand for more lightweight, convenient and portable products. 
The global market will continue to rise as consumer are purchasing more things online, which will drive demand for specific types of packaging and packaging products. There will be a greater role for packaging in helping brand owners to protect against fake or counterfeit goods, via increased usage of technological innovations. This presentation is brought to you by Pong Academy.